My people, first wife, don't turn to stranger. You know that anytime the family you are married into started excommunicating you or sending you out of the meeting, out of family meeting, it simply means that you are no longer married to the man. You are just there chasing, uh, chasing shadows. <laughs> you know that according to culture and tradition in Ile Ife Kingdom, they say Kabiesi cannot send a woman or a wife out because he is like a father who is to protect marriages and the uh, people, you know. So he is not to stay a wife for a year ago. I don't want you again. But there are certain actions that he will take that will let you know that you are no longer needed in his life. And right now, the kind of uh, action or the kind of behavior or attitude that he is showing Igbi, it is obvious that Igbi is just wasting her time in that palace because it can never come out from Kabiesi's mouth to let her to tell her, go, pack out of my... Mm -mm. They say it is by their character that as in, towards the kind of attitude that KBS is showing her, she will be the one to leave when she decides to leave. If not, she will be there, uh, wasting her time for nothing. According to what we are hearing, you know, they said, with the kind of news we are hearing right now about the wife, they say KBS is disturbed. Not only KBS, even the father as well as the brothers, they were all worried because... The kind of news that we are hearing about the Oloris, they said it is something that has never happened in the history of Ileife Kingdom. That wives, Oba, will be doing anyhow, having extramarital affairs, seeing them with their exes, seeing them with other men. Yeah, they said that one is causing them serious wahala in the palace, such that both Paropo, Kabiesi's elders, everyone is worried and they are looking for. A way out of this, and that is what we how we heard that uh, Kabiesi's uh, brother went on inquiry to discover why all of this thing is happening, and yet nothing is happening to the wives because it is expected that once a wife of a Kabiesi cheats, that she will have uh, she will face the repercussion or the consequences immediately. And that is why some people will tell you that you see these women, they cannot meet with another man. Hmm. Uh, I used to think like that, but since we started hearing this whole SSS issue, uh, some people will come to my comment section to let you know that the mogun of a thing that can make a wife of a king not to meet with another man, that Kabiesi did not do it to them. And this may be because he married them as people's wives. <laughs> yes, yeah, so maybe because of that. Because I don't, I don't see the reason why you go and marry someone else and you come and do mogun on that person. Ah, get that CB now. The only two people they said KBSC did that happens to be Queen Naomi and Dr. Elizabeth. And if you check very well, they are the only wives that KBSC is treating with love and affection because he knows that they cannot cheat on him. He knows that they cannot go and meet with another man. He knows that they cannot come and claim that uh, uh, the father of their children came to their house and spent one week and... They were spending one week with them at night, my people. <laughs> so, when the brother to the king find out that the reason why all of these women is doing all of this and they are going scot-free happens to be that some elders are solidly behind them, maybe because they are giving them money or maybe because they are also paying them in kind. <laughs> you know the women. <laughs> when they want to get something, they can do the unthinkable just to get that thing. So, and the Dioloris are not exceptional. So, they said when Kabiesi's father, uh, Kabiesi's brother, find out that the reason they are doing all of this thing and nothing is happening to them is because certain elders, including in some Ifa priests, have told them the way out that anytime they do it, what they must do, kind of sacrifices or something that they must do in order to avoid the anger of the palace gods, because there are some gods who are in charge of uh, handling women who uh, wives to the king who sleep outside with another man so but the moment they come and do all that the those elders and those if a priest have taught them nothing will happen to them tomorrow they will go another one and i believe that these people that are doing this thing they hate kbsc with passion they hate kbsc so badly that they want him they want his downfall because whether you believe it or not whenever a woman is a woman that is married is as long as they, their bride price is paid and they're having extramarital affairs. It is affecting their husbands. Seriously. It is really affecting them. I'm telling you. As long as you go and meet with that man. And come back and meet with your, with your own husband. 
it is affecting your husband. If it is not affecting him financially, it will be affecting his health. Why? It will be affecting him health wise. It will affect his lifespan. It will affect him in all ramifications. So if you are a woman that is still doing it, I beg, stop it. If you love that, your husband, don't say, eh, hey, maybe he doesn't have enough money. You are doing it to get money to feed the family. You are killing him gradually. You as a woman, you have the power to pray. When you pray as a woman, God will open your doors. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you, seriously. But you know that these women, they don't care about KBS. And KBS, again, does not have time to attend to all of them. Because KBS is just a, a king, one man, one man with seven wives. <laughs> and not only that he's one man, he is a busy businessman, very busy. KBS is always busy. If, he, if he's not busy with uh, some traditional stuff, he is busy with uh, uh, economic stuff, he is busy with the nation. Ha, KBS is so busy that he can never, even if he's a machine, he can never satisfy all of these women. So they have decided to take... Uh, 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 to take care of themselves in a way they deem fit. So when KBSC's brother find out about this, that some of these elders are doing this and the elders are doing that, they decided to have a family meeting to call some of these elders and interrogate them and ask questions. Why would you do such a thing to KBSC? Did you know about this? You know that some of them would deny it. Of course, some of them would deny it. So they say why they were having that meeting. No. And that meeting was on invitation, so especially those of the elders who are always involved in this, like this uh, Temitope, uh, Toby, um, Ashley, and I don't know about Ronke, I don't know. They said they were the ones that are invited. They did not invite Higby. The reason is because they know that Higby is doing it, but information have it that KBS is no longer married to Higby because, one, Higby's uh, first bride prize was not returned to Baba Nasiru. And they did not let KBSC know. So when KBSC find out about it, that is when the marriage started. Uh, and secondly, they said the, spirit, the gods have uh, separated KBSC from it being spiritually and all of that. So they did not involve her. Maybe they think uh, she can go ahead and do whatever she's doing because she's no longer recognized as KBSC's wife spiritually. But physically, they are still doing it. <laughs> so they did not welcome her. They did not invite her. But unfortunately, I don't know how she got to know about the meeting and they say she came. Then, when she came, KBSC was asking her who invited you. She started making trouble though. How can people, how can you guys have a meeting that she as a first wife and they did not inform her, even all these girls, all these other Oloris that uh, came after her, that um, they were all invited. But she, that is the first wife of KBSC, nobody told her about the meeting. That this is unfair. They say she started ranting. And before you know it, the secretary said, order the gas without wasting time to throw her out of the meeting. That was how they threw her out and she started crying. My people wonder shall never end. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? They are all rumored information. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.